Will I be able to change the background of the subject with one single click? Yes, in the latest version of Photoshop 2025, if you would like to change the background of the subject, all you got to do is simply click on the remove background and then wait for it to process it. Then once the background is done, click on generate background and leave the input field blank as it is and click on generate. As you can see how the backgrounds are generated, the second one is kind of good. If I want to generate a similar, I'll right click here and click on generate similar. This one is kind of looking realistic. I can switch between the other one, which one looks way more cool. And this is just done with one single click. Same goes here, if I want to remove all the wires and cables with one just single click, I would just simply head over to the remove tool, click on find distraction, and click on wires and cable. And that's it. As you can see, her hair was before and here is after with just one single click. If you would like to explore some of the best new features of Photoshop 2025, stick around till to the end of this video. I'm gonna show you some of the amazing new features in the Photoshop 2025 and the beta that will just simply blow your mind. So let's get to it. Starting it with number one, removing wires and cables. Now in Photoshop 2025, we have a brilliant feature that allows you to remove wire and cable with just one single. Now if I select the remove tool and go to find distraction and click on wire and cables. Now I do want to mention here that by default, while trying to remove this cable, the Photoshop uses her generative AI, which gives you really outstanding results. Now let me show you, if I enable this, Arto may use generative AI. I just cannot try to use her generative AI where it is complicated for the remove tool to make the details and as you can see here it did a fantastic job like literally here in there there might be a slightly improvements but press the show it did an amazing job now if i go to the history panel if you don't see the history panel you can go to windows and then click on history as you can see here how was before and after outstanding job now the by default mode is set to auto so photoshop as i mentioned in the beginning is that we'll try to recreate those details using firefly model 3 and then kind of bring it and apply it here now let's go on into the next complex wire and cables and demonstrate that with this example if i go to remove tool again and then go to find distraction wire and cables and then just simply wait for it to process As you can see here, it did an amazing job here as well. Of course, there is a slightly improvements here and there. You can just simply paint over it. And voila, you can of course paint it over this and get rid of it. Overall, here was before and after. Now, let's move on to the next story, removing people. Now, if you open up here this image, by the way, and then again go to remove tool, click on find distraction and then click pupil. Now wait for it to process. Now for whatever reason, this feature hasn't been like, you know, working. It only detected this area. As you can see here, it's in this pink kind of colors. If I go back and then click on people again, it's gonna only select this area. I mean, even the people are on my face. This tool again then allow you to select and add those people while printing it manually like so. As you can see here. And then click on commit changes. Now, as you can see here, it did kind of did a good job, but I wouldn't rely too much on it. As you can see here, it generated some molded kind of weird shapes. The better way would be, of course, to use her the marquee tools for selecting people like so. You can, of course, go with much precision. I'm just demonstrating it. And then right click here and then click on generate field. And as you can see here, it did a really great job. I mean, it still needs improvements here and there, but overall by removing people properly, generative field is fantastic choice. So let's move on to the next tool. Now, generate background is a really outstanding feature in the Photoshop 2025. Now for demonstration, if I click on the remove background, and then as you can see, it's gonna pop up this generate background. I can click on this and I can type here a prompt, but I would like to keep it as it is. That way the Adobe Firefly would try to analyze the subject and based on the luminance and lighting value of the subject, it will generate the background that would well look 
more realistic and as you can see here it did a really great job by generating the images we have the subject here now if you would like to find out more around the subject what you can do here you can just simply remove it and then select this mark tool again and then simply paste over here right click here generative fill and then generate it again now this time it's gonna fill this wall and then the subject layer would be independent you can then move it around in whatever position you would like to so i will just simply move the subject layer and as you can see here i can now move it where i would like to want pretty great feature i love it now the next feature in photoshop beta is the generative workspace now i have already installed here photoshop beta and i want to demonstrate that to you once you launch here the photoshop you can go to edit and then click on generative workspace now adobe has just updated the firefly model as well it was running before on model one now it is model three it's really mature when it's come to generating images so as you can see here this is my previous generation it's sort of like a mid generation and keep track of everything i want to paste another prompt here now you have a lot of control over this by the way you have the aspect ratio if i select this and say just to firefly the generative workspace is widescreen 16 by 9 ratio you have cinematic you can add her effects more like digital art hyper realistic and then you have the fast mode but uh, once it is enabled it's gonna generate it really fast but the result might not be really cool but i'm gonna generate this in fast mode just for the demonstration now as you can see here it did a really outstanding job by generating the images now the best thing about the generative workspace is that you don't need to wait while the image is generating you can do things in the background for example i have this prompt i can add here the another prompt meanwhile for example let me paste here another prompt and then if i click generate it's gonna keep generating and i can type here another prompt while that one is generating in the background so it would be working simultaneously without waiting for the other one so it's really amazing now the other thing is that you can add her variables now variable is sort of like you multiply the prompt with those variable size for example if i type her cinematic and then type here the fantasy style and then type here the painting digital painting style and then um we correct this now as you can see here it's it's gonna generate 12 result why because we have three variables and then four is by default the firefly is generating and three variables so four times three 12 and then we can click on generate and it's gonna generate 12 result it's doing really fast job by the way so let's go with the result here now if i click on this image and let's just say you're happy with this i mean the result is not good i would be honest when it's come to the details you can open it directly in photoshop if i click this it's gonna launch it directly in photoshop but i can also download it from here by clicking on the download icon now for some reason if the panel disappear while working those prompts would be still running in the background so there is nothing to be worried about if i get, go back to generative workspace all the data would be synchronized so it's not disappeared like let me show you like as you can see here these 12 images that we anticipated earlier is generated here in a different artistic style i it did a really amazing job now if you would like to download it you can simply click on download and then it's gonna open the file explorer and i can save it on my desktop and that's pretty much it about photoshop 2025 i hope you guys are liking this video if you like this be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you like my overall contents i make videos every single week related to design and technology if you would like to support this channel please feel free to subscribe to it with bell notification then i will catch you in the next video thank you so much for watching